Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Carter Me Lisa. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Before we get started, why don't you go ahead and click that subscribe button, join the family. Who doesn't want to stay inspired, motivated, and uplifted? I mean, I know I do, like, you know. So, yes, nobody can be you better than you can be you. So why not be you the best way and I can help you get there. But as you've probably seen from the title, we are back with another weekly motivation. I am trying to get these on track for y'all so we can continue these conversations about things that are helping us be our best selves. This week, we are going to be talking about body goals, that gym life. That's what we're talking about today. If you see me looking down, I'm looking at my notes trying to stay right for y'all. But yes, let's just jump straight into this. So, um been getting some feedback uh, from quite a bit of people about my fitness journey that I'm currently on and like many other things it has been a roller coaster where I'm consistent I'm up and down and you know and life happens but one thing that I promised myself for the year of 2022 is that this is my year to do all the things that I want and part of that is getting my body to a place where I'm happy with it. And people have asked me questions and commented on things and expressed certain things to me. So I thought that this video would be helpful. Let me start with this disclaimer. I am not a personal trainer. I am not certified in any uh, nutritional anythings. Um, I'm not a fitness guru by any means. I am a regular individual that is trying to be my best version of myself, that's trying to live a healthy, balanced life. And I'm dedicated to that goal. So, if you are looking for advice from a fitness trainer, a personal trainer, anything like that, this may not be the video for you. But if you're looking for tips to help you along your journey from someone who is very much so like you in the sense of I'm a regular person trying to achieve a somewhat feeling of an unobtainable goal that's very much so obtainable in reality, then this is the video for you. One thing I want to start by saying that I didn't really feel I knew or was expressed to me properly when I started this journey um, is that you do not have to start your workout journey with weights. I said it and I'll say it again. You do not have to start your workout journey with weights. You should not be pushing yourself beyond the point that your body can handle, okay? Weights are amazing, and you should not be afraid of them. Y'all heard me, ladies? Weights are amazing, and you should not be afraid of them. Okay? But if you have not worked out in a really long time, if you've never worked out, etc., you may want to hold off on implementing weights into your routine, okay? There's a lot of other things that are a bit more important than how much weight you applied when squatting, doing press, like any type of presses, leg press, bench press, etc. You might want to first figure some other things out. For example, do you have good form? Have you really taken the time to research what workouts are going to help you achieve the goal that you want? Do you have a trainer? Can you afford a trainer? What are those steps first? Okay, um, I think when I first started, I pushed myself really, really hard to use weights that I might have been able to use in the past when I was like in high school or fresh out of high school and I was working out so often um, that I just wanted to get right back there and it wasn't really smart and I almost hurt myself and it, it wasn't safe. So safety is key, form is key, proper workouts are key and those are things that you first want to direct your attention to, okay? Now, you're saying, but Joy, like if I'm not using weights, how am I going to how am I going to get certain toning done, certain et cetera done? There are other things that you can use that are way more safer that you probably should be using even when you add weights anyway. For example, resistance bands. Resistance bands are amazing. They can help you stretch. They can help you um, push yourself to a point where you're pushing yourself, but you're not pushing yourself too far. They have different levels. If you're looking for a great resistance band, my friend she has a brand it's called get up and glow fitness she's amazing her story is phenomenal she created these cloth um resistance bands that 
They don't really like fall down when you're using them, you know. Some of those resistance beds, they gotta roll up, they pop, all types of crazy stuff. Hers don't do that. She has a different variation of resistance so that way you're not, you know, incapable of moving. I use the medium one. She has a, a, a light one and a heavy one. Um, they're phenomenal. So you can go ahead and check her out. This is not sponsored in any type of way. I will leave a link in the description box below um and see if i can help y'all any further with anything else but yes check her out resistance bands are great they can enhance your workout they can help you push yourself in the right way and get you the results that you want now that we've said that you need to really be accountable okay accountability is huge be accountable for what you want be accountable for what you say you're going to do get you an accountability partner and that doesn't mean they have to go to the gym with you it's just someone that cares enough that has enough time or is dedicated enough to say, hey, did you work out today? Hey, you heading to the gym? Hey, you getting ready for the gym? Hey, how was your workout? So that you are keeping it at the front of your brain to work out. Another thing you can do is set an alarm. We all are in this world where um, smartphones are life. So we have the iPhone, some people have Androids, but I'm sure that your Androids have reminders on them since y'all claim that they're better than iPhones. So if they really are, they should at least have that. And you can set an alarm, a reminder with a timestamp to get ready that you should be there and all types of things like that. You can set reminders in your phone to say things that keep you motivated and inspired. You're going to be fit. You're, um, you're going to lose 10 pounds. You're going to look better. You're going to, whatever it is that your goal is, you can have it as a reminder to keep you in that frame. You are what you indulge in. So yes, I said indulge in. Not just you are what you eat, but also what you listen to and what you see. So if you're scrolling all the time on Instagram, make that Instagram work for you. You're making Insta Instagram money daily by just liking pictures. So at least make it work for you, right? Follow somebody that you feel like their fitness journey inspires you. Their fitness knowledge motivates you. It helps you. A few of my favorites, Joy Chavez, Body by Neeks, my trainer. Um, I have plenty of other people that I follow and I look at. I think Deanna Lenore is one. Tamara, I don't remember her last name. But I follow these people because they're dedicated. I see them working out on a daily basis. Their journey was phenomenal. They're dropping knowledge that can help me better myself on what I'm eating or what I'm doing in the gym to get the results I want. Now, if I wanted to be a bodybuilder, I would pay more attention to bodybuilder pages. A nice, right? There's all these people in the world that are on social media that can help you get to your journey. Follow them, learn about them, research them. That is the key. That's how you keep yourself inspired, motivated, uplifted. You can put sticky notes on your wall to remind you what to do. I used to have sticky notes all over, all over the place, on my mirror, on the wall, on the doors, everywhere to remind me of things. That's all you have to do. Um, you have to set that side of time and be dedicated. Make it a routine. It's funny because I was having a conversation with um, someone and she was like, I'm going to have to work out forever. I'm going to be working out for the rest of my life. I'm like, but that's the point, right? Because if you're just working out to get this body for one day that you know you really want for a lifetime, you're going to have to work out forever, right? You don't have to work out every day necessarily. You may not even have to work out for that long after a while. And when I say that long, I mean how long you spend working out. But you are going to have to do it. It's a lifestyle. That's the final thing I want to end with is that fitness, health, wealth, it's a lifestyle. It's not a one and done thing. You have to dedicate time for life, right? When you get these careers, you're working that job. You're working for life. Now, you may not stay at that job. You might switch jobs. So you might not keep the same workout routine. You might have to change the routine. But you're going to have to keep working. There's different ways to work. You might become an entrepreneur and start working for a corporation. You might build your own corporation, but you're still working. You might invest so that it starts doing it for itself. But ultimately, it's still some type of work that's happening. So when you're working out, it's that exercise mentality that you implement to your life forever. What is that minimum that you feel like will keep you going at that 
desired goal forever. So I do hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know what they are. You can comment down below. What is the thing that's hardest for you in the gym or getting to the gym? Let's start a conversation. You've made it this far. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Like this video if it was helpful. You can follow me on all social media at Cardamielisa. Just like it is here. I made it easy for you to whoop, copy, and boot, paste it. Y'all know how this goes. And until next time, y'all, peace.